Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about why I believe that the year 2022 is the best year for you to go full-time as a freelancer. So it doesn't matter what type of freelance work you do, whether you're a graphic designer, a web designer, a copywriter, um, whatever it is that you're doing, freelancing. Um, the year 2022 is going to be a great opportunity for you to kind of cut the cord on maybe your nine to five and go full time. So in this video, I want to talk to you about a couple of reasons why the year 2022 is going to be the best opportunity for you to succeed as a freelancer. And a couple of these ideas are going to hopefully help you help you to succeed. So the first thing that I've got down here is um, remote work is more common and acceptable than it ever has been before. It's really cool because of um, just the way that things have changed over the last year. More people are working remotely, more people are working on their own schedules, and there's more freedom for you to do the things that you want to do and try the things that you want to try. And so for you right now, you can use that extra time in the afternoon or the evening to work on your freelance gig. It's a great opportunity for you to move that business forward. And so you've got to take advantage of these opportunities. Now, what I've seen from running my web design and SEO agency um, as a freelancer is now more than ever, these um, businesses that are looking for contracts, looking to hire people, they are more used to hiring freelancers and solopreneurs than ever before. So they're not going to the big agencies to, to hire these things out, but they're looking for people like you and me to hire and, and to do these different freelance um, projects. And so that's why I believe that in the year 2022, more than ever, people are going to be looking for people like you and I to fulfill whatever services they're looking for. And so that has become more of the norm where maybe a couple of years ago it wasn't. But now people will reach out with a you know $50,000 budget and say, hey, Peyton, we need X, Y, or Z done and we're ready to hire you and your agency to, to, to get that done. And so I think that's a great opportunity that it's more common that people like you and I are getting the jobs. Now, the next reason that I think that 2022 is the best opportunity for you to go full-time as a freelancer is the sheer amount of tools that are out there that can help you run a business. Now, a couple years ago, you didn't have all the tools out there, so you were gonna need uh, somebody to run the books and, and the finances, and you're gonna need an attorney and a project manager, and like uh, you're gonna need everybody in place in order to kind of create a legitimate business. But now, there are so many tools out there for project management and for invoicing and for payment and for legal and for all these different things that you can literally piece together your business with these tools and for a very low monthly cost, you can have something that resembles a very legitimate and professional business. And so there's never been a better time as far as tools go to be able to put together your business the way that you want it to be and the way that it needs to function in a professional manner so that you can be getting these gigs and that you can be making the money that you wanna make. And so there's never been a better time when it comes to tools. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about is just the financial opportunity of going full time as a freelancer because it can be scary and there's always a chance that you're not going to make any money, right? There's always that risk. So you can make you can make way, way more than you could ever imagine or you could also struggle and that's just part of getting into it and kind of testing your business model and seeing how things go. But at the end of the day, I would say that um, the, the greatest blessing for my family has been the, the financial upside that me freelancing, I've been able to create my own schedule. I've been able to work when I want to work and do what I want to do. But also, I've had the opportunity to make far more than I ever would have from a nine to five. And that is um, a huge upside that you as a freelancer can build something much bigger than yourself and that you can truly find success. And so... In the year 2022, I feel like there's going to be more opportunities than there there ever has been before. There's going to be more new clients that need your work. And if you can get out there, if you can create your business, if you can put your name out there, you're going to be able to be successful. So if you've watched any of my recent videos, I have recently been diagnosed with cancer. And so this has been 
a really big struggle for my freelance business, trying to figure out how to manage and balance and continue to work and get better. And, and it's been tough, but it's also made me very, very grateful for the situation that I have and that I was, um, you know, that I am in the position that I am where I am a full-time freelancer. I've got a business that's sustaining my family. I'm able to continue to work, but also I'm able to take time off when I need to. And so that is a huge, huge benefit of being a full-time freelancer. And if you're in a position where you're considering going full-time, but you're not really sure how it's going to go, um, I would highly recommend at least starting to move in that direction and, and starting to go full-time because at the end of the day, the opportunities are there. There's never been better opportunities to grow a freelance business and to have success and to make all the money that you want to make and to live the lifestyle that you want to, that you want to live. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.